How's it going guys? It's me Wasabi and today we have something a little bit different and it's very cramped at the moment. There has been a lot of people asking me on my review videos if the mouse works for the PS5, it works for the console and I've been getting a lot of questions like that and unfortunately after looking through a number of forums I still could not find I'll give you guys a correct answer. So then I thought I should create this video for people who are considering using the mouse for console. At least you know it works on my end, it should work on yours as well. And just so you know, all these mice that I'm about to test are updated to the latest firmware and the PS5 is updated to the latest firmware as well. I think you're wondering why there are so many ducks around me and it's because this PS5 is my brother's and he said bring a duck with you. He has a lot of ducks, so... Yeah, the ducks are with me now. This setup was done in the last uh, five minutes, so I'm not sure if this works, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Hang on. Come on. It works. Right. It works. Oh, nice. Ooh. This is so cool. I've never actually used or played a PS5. Like, for real, really played a PS5. Wow, my brother has Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, or oh, Ghost, of, Ghost of Tsushima, I heard this is a very good video game. Back to the topic, the reason why we're doing this video is to see if the mice works with the PS5. Unfortunately, I don't have the Xbox to try, but this is as close as I can get. In order to use the mouse or keyboard with any game on the PS5, the game itself has to support PC peripherals. If it doesn't, then this is not gonna work. So let's go ahead and try the Death Adder V3 Pro first. It's a very strange way to play a game, but it's just to show off that the mouse works with the PS5. Or or at least for games that enable the mouse. Mouse buttons 4 and 5 do not work on this game. I'm not sure if it's just the game in particular or it's just with every PS5 game out there. So if anyone knows, please share in the comments below. The next one I'm gonna test is the Lamzu Atlantis Mini and let's see how it goes. And yes, it seems to work just fine. Even the profile switching button works. So I guess if you want, you could pre-configure the different DPI settings on the Lamzu software on your PC and then you can use this mouse on the PS5 and change it as you like it. Mouse buttons 4 and 5 doesn't seem to work, so that's something to know. Next up, we have the Viper V3 Hyperspeed. Let's see if this works. This one seems to work just fine as well. For mouse buttons 4 and 5, it doesn't seem to be working with this. So yeah, DPI switching for this mouse works. Next mouse we have here is the Pulsar X2 Mini. And this is the version 1 of the X2. Let's give this a try. X2 Mini V1 works with the PS5. Mouse buttons 4 and 5 doesn't work as well with all my that I've tested so far. Up next is the Lemzu Thorn and this is a big favorite by a lot of gamers in 2023. So let's see if it works with the PS5. Yep, the Lemzu Thorn works with the PS5 just fine. Mouse buttons 4 and 5 still does not work. Again, I'm not sure if it's just the game itself or it's just a PS5 thing. Maybe it works better with the Xbox, I'm not sure. The Bezlis V3 Pro, let's see if it works with the PS5. Mouse buttons 4 and 5 do not work. Even when connected to the PS5, you can still use Razer's infinite scroll. So this is nice for games that you need to spam your scroll wheel. The DPI shift button, also known as the sniper button, works as well. Because this is a feature that works inside the mouse and this is a button that drops the DPI when you press it. So yeah. And now let's see if the Super Light 2 works on the PS5. It seems to connect to the PS5 just fine. Same thing, side buttons don't work on this mouse with the PS5. And the last mouse I'm going to test in this video is the x Lite V3 ES. This mouse does not have a dongle that you can plug in directly. You, you gotta use a USB-C cable and let's see if this works. Yeah, the x v 3 ES works just fine on the PS5. And the huge benefit of using this mouse, I'm not trying to upsell it. I know I already did a review of this mouse and I said it's the best of 2023. And it still is. But the great thing for console players is that you can configure the mouse settings right here. So all the mouse settings, DPI, pulling rate, lift off distance, motion sync, all these settings can be configured right here. With any other mouse, you're gonna plug it into your PC, save the onboard memory, and yeah, you know how it goes. So that's quite a surprise. I never thought of this, but 
Anyway, I hope this video helps out the people who are wondering if the mouse works with their console, the PS5 in particular. I do apologize I don't have an Xbox with me so I can't test it on all consoles. Still, I hope that this still helps out a bit because the last thing I want is people to buy a mouse and realize that it's not gonna work for their intended purpose. That would be very unfortunate. I wouldn't want to be in such a situation and I don't wish that upon my viewers so... Yeah. So I'm gonna wrap this up right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it a little helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos will be out every week. And I'll see you in the next one.